Today we're going to be setting tensions. Uh, the first one we're going to do is their top tension, and we're going to be using the Chijima top tension gauge. This is what your gauge is going to look like. On the gauge it has a scale from 0 to 250. First thing we're going to do is remove the clear plastic cover because we're going to be pulling the gauge down vertically into the hole. So we want to remove the thread from the needle and the bottom two thread guides. Then we're going to take our tensioner up here. We're going to wrap the thread around twice so it doesn't slip. Now we're going to pull the thread down until the gauge stops moving. So right now we're setting at about 140 grams of pull, which is about where we want to be. If we want to adjust the tension lighter or heavier, we're going to do it on your main tension gauge up here. We're going to turn it to the right for more tension, and we're going to turn it to the left for less tension. We're now going to set the tension on your bobbin case. We're going to be using the Tawa bobbin case tension gauge. This is going to be a tension gauge for the M bobbins, which what we are what we use. First thing we're going to do is remove the clear plastic cover, and we're going to remove your bobbin and bobbin case. Now we're going to take the bobbin case and we're going to place it into the gauge. We're going to take this little tab right here and we're going to place it right there so it locks in place. We're going to push and then it locks. We're now going to run the thread around the bottom pulley. We're going to go up to the top pulley, run it around the top pulley and pull it down through there. We're now going to pull on your bobbin thread. Now you'll notice the needle's bouncing a little bit, which is fine. What we do is we want this to be around the 100 grams of pull on your bobbin. Um, we don't want it to bounce below 100. If it bounces down to 100, we're good. But it can fluctuate like that. We're still good. We just don't want it to bounce down to 100, past 100. We want to keep it as close to 100 as we can keep it without bouncing past it. On the paper bobbins, um, we want to set it 100 grams of pull. And on the metal bobbins that you wind yourself, we're going to set them at 200 grams of pull. Now, if we have to make an adjustment to the bobbin, we're going to use the adjustment screw right here on your bobbin case. We're going to take a small screwdriver, place it in there. If we need more tension on the bobbin case, we're going to take that screw right here. We're going to turn it to the right. If we need less tension, it's going down past 100. We're going to take this main tension screw, we're going to put a screwdriver in there, and we're going to turn it to the left for less tension. But on your bobbin, this is where, about where we want the bobbin to be, just like that. Now, once you set this bobbin, you're not going to have to do it again. Uh, the best thing to do is go ahead and set your tension on your bobbin first. Because once we have the tension set on the bobbin, we're not going to touch that again. Any adjustments we make from that point on to adjust our tension, we're going to be using the top tension gauge to make all the fine adjustments.